This is Kombu, K-O-M-B-U, and it is the first time that I've put it together in a soup. I've been consuming Kombu for approximately six or seven months, and I don't eat it every day. I eat it maybe like once every two months. I mean, the stuff just lasts, right, if you don't eat it that much. And the first time that I got it, I didn't know what I was buying. I just said, oh, it's a type of seaweed, so let me see what it is. And when I opened it up, I was like, oh, it's a lot of seaweed. So, And it's in large chunks. I actually use scissors to cut these up into strips because it comes in these big sheets, right? These big, thick sheets. It's not like the thin sushi um, seaweed sheets. It's not like that at all. These are these are the thicker version of, of uh, seaweed. Anyway, I had the last bit of it um, because I've been peeling off little strips of it every couple of days this past week and just eating it, right? Just a, just a half of a strip, right? But I decided to just go ahead and make a soup of it. And it's going to... And now, this version here, I actually did two versions using the same, the same uh, bowl, right? So this is the before. This is the cold version, right? I did a heated version later on where I took all of this and I just put it in a pot and I warmed it up because I did some more reading on it while I was eating it. And I found that, to my surprise, that in Japan, they actually have a version of this same dish that I made by intuition, um, but it's warmed up and it's done in such a way where it improves the nutritional value and taste of this. So now, one of the surprising features of kombu is that it can actually help with regular digestion, but you can actually combine it with beans, which I don't do here. This is a variety of spices and lemongrass and lemons and lemon juice, all in spring water, right? And it sat for eight hours, and it actually tastes pretty good, right? It actually tastes pretty good. So I don't have any complaints about this. And it was very filling, and it went down very well. So I was quite pleased about that. And so the thing about kombu, it appears that it can actually reduce flatulence when we're talking about eating beans. You can use it to reduce flatulence. But enough talk about this particular mix right here. Let's look into the kombu itself. And so I want to show you a couple of things. So first, uh, wakami, right, is actually distributed by the same company. And I'd really like wakami. I like the thin um, seaweed sheets. I like those a lot. I like those a real lot, though I don't actually get them that often. But when I do, I go through them like it's candy. I really like seaweed sheets for some reason. Can't explain it. Don't know what's going on with my brain or with my body when I consume it. But I really like these seaweed sheets. So anyway, I know Walmart sells a brand, a great value brand of seaweed sheets and then you can get all kinds of different brands of seaweed sheets um, at Kroger's and at Walmart and other places. I don't try these other flavors. I just do the basic ones. But this wakami, I like that even more than I like the um, the seaweed sheets. I really like wakami. This stuff, is, I eat it like candy. And I have to really discipline myself and constrain. And I eat it dry. I don't eat it, um, I eat it dry. And so I just have to be very careful with it. But it has nutrients. And I never really paid attention to that before. But it has B12. I'm like, oh, there's some B12. There's some B12. And it has uh, potassium and magnesium that Dr. Bobby Price talked about on his video. Uh, kombu, which is what I'm consuming now. This has far less sodium, and it has a great dose of calcium, it has potassium, and it has magnesium. You need all three for muscle contraction 
and release. It yeah. makes your muscles work really well. And then what really motivated me to give combo a, another try or a more serious attempt, which is what I'm doing here with what I'm eating, is that seaweed, it turns out, whether in the form of the wakame or the kombu, is the calcium in it is better than calcium for milk. Hey, did you hear that? The calcium in this food item, in this naturally occurring item, the calcium is better than milk. It's better than the calcium you can get from milk. Dr. Bobby Price has a great video about that. It's called the three deficiencies or how to know if you have these three deficiencies. And so, but apparently when you eat this, your body is able to absorb the calcium in it far better than calcium from cow's milk. I'm vegan. I don't do cow's milk anyway. But it's like, wow, this is a real, real uh, benefit here. This is what Wakami looks like. The packaging that I just showed you didn't do it ju justice. But I just did a Google search and this is the first thing that came up. And... It looks like those big sheets right there, right? Looks like those big sheets when you when you open up. And actually, these sheets can be folded on each other, and it's hard. It comes dry and hard, and so it's almost like uh, steel. It's like hard as steel in a way. It's it's like these hard rubbery sheets. It's it's but it's not like rubber. It's not as flexible as rubber. It's hard, but it's not super hard. But it's just hard. But then, when you have it soaked in liquid long enough, it's the total opposite. It is as soft as, it, as you can get. It turns out that you can actually dissolve this in water if you simmer it in heat for about two hours. I haven't tried that, but that's apparently a technique for making beans more digestible. So, I used heat with the same bowl of kombu, Right? And I was very careful. I, I uh, used intuition and I only went about eight minutes on the heat. And I made sure it didn't boil because I believe the recipe that I read was you want to get the water just before boiling, but you don't want to boil it. And that matched up with what I learned from my AI research, where it was like you could destroy the nutritional value of something like this by having too much heat. So I was very careful on that on that end. But this was very tasty once I had the heat and a little more salt. And uh, I hope you like it too if you decide to try it. Send me a comment if you're curious about more.